So now we're going to show you how to make a story jumper book. On the left hand side, you can see that there are five different types of content that you can add to your book. The first type is text. So we're going to add a text box by clicking on that and then typing in there was a dog on the beach. We can highlight this text and we can change the font style on this and the font size and the font color. There's other styling options here as well. You can move the text box by grabbing the hand down here and moving it. And then you can also resize the text box with these yellow boxes. The second type of content you can add are props. So we're gonna add a dog here on the left-hand side. Drag that down, make it a little bit bigger. And if I wanted to search for other dogs or other props, I can just search for it here. And you can see other dogs and then I can add here to the left-hand side. And then I can add these dogs to here as well. Now, this is a lot of fun here. You can also click on this button here that says design characters. And you can design your own characters that look like you or your family members or your friends. So you can change the skin tone. You can change the hair color and the hairstyle. And then you can also change other attributes. You can change the clothing. So let's go ahead and add some shorts and have them wear some sandals. And then when you're done designing your character, you can then click finished. And then click on the character to add the character to your page. Okay. Now let's go to scenes and let's click on this beach scene here to add that beach scene. And if I wanted to search for other scenes, I could search for other scenes here as well. The fourth content type is photos. So here you can add your own photos. You can upload your own artwork, your own photos if you want here by clicking on that button or by dragging the photo into the page. Or you can search for other photos that we have in our art library. So I'm going to search for a beach photo. I'm going to convert this to a scene. And then I'm going to then change the scene to this. I'm going to actually remove this second dog by clicking this garbage can. And then finally, I'm going to add my voice. Here I'm going to record. There was a dog on the beach. So now you can see that there are three different tracks. I just recorded my voice track. I can add a background music track by clicking plus. I can choose some different music. I'm going to choose the ocean back, background music there. And I'm also going to add a dog sound effect. You can click on here to see what it sounds like. Then click plus to actually add it. So when I click the play button, then all of the three tracks will be mixed together. There was a dog on the beach. And I'm going to click save. All right, so now we've added five different types of content to the page. And now you can see that here are some navigation buttons to move to the left and also to move to the right of, of the book. And you can also drag pages uh, back and forth to move the position of pages. And you can also delete, add, and copy pages as well. So now I'm going to move back to the very front cover. I'm going to change the title here to My Day at the Beach. I'm going to change the color of the front cover and also the style as well. All right, so I can write this book all by myself or I can also collaborate with some of my classmates and friends. So I can click collaborate and then type in the name of some of my friends like Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia so that when they log into their Story Jumper account, they will see the book and they can edit the book as well. So now I'm going to click save and exit so I can read and listen to my book. And if I click play here, I'll hear my voice. There was a dog on the beach. And if I want to buy hardcover 
paperback or digital copies of the book, I would just click buy here. And if I want to edit the book, I can click edit and I can share it with other people as well. All right. Well, enjoy making your book.